Hi, my name is Shannon Murphy, and I'd like to show you my hometown of Gros Seal, Michigan. Some communities are hard to define, but mine is pretty easy. It's an island in the Detroit River, downstream from Detroit. In fact, across the river is a foreign country, Canada. It's a community of many beautiful homes and surrounded by the Detroit River International Wildlife Refuge. Some say Gros Eel has seen three national flags, French, British, and U.S. In the 1600s, French explorers visited here, among them Hennepin and La Salle. In the 1700s, Cadillac stopped here on his way to founding the city of Detroit. People of many nations have called Gros Eel, the Big Island, their home. Among them are the Potawatomi. It was an assemblage of Potawatomi chiefs who deeded their ancestral land to the William and Alexander Macomb brothers on July 6, 1776. If you were a naval or marine aviator prior to or during World War II, the Korean conflict, or the Vietnam War, there's a good chance you did your training right here at Naval Air Station Grosseal. No longer a naval air station, the Grosseal Municipal Airport is now home to many private planes and four World War II era aircraft owned and operated by another famous organization, the Yankee Air Force. Gros Seal is a great place to live or visit in any season, in the winter, but especially in the spring and summer. If you boat, sail, or fish, Gros Seal is for you. We have three yacht clubs and several national fishing tournaments are held in the water surrounding Gros Seal. If golf is your sport, then it's Gros Seal again with three courses to play. Gros Seal was among the first communities in Michigan to set aside land for open space and bicycle trails. Several biking and running events are held here each year. Our school system has been ranked repeatedly as one of the top public districts in the state. Gros Seal is a great place to bike. You'll not only pass through some of the island's natural beauty, but you'll also pass by many beautiful and historic homes. Homes built by some of the most famous automotive industry moguls, like Ransom Olds and his beloved Albemarle Estate. Don't miss historical St. James Episcopal Church and the Elizabeth Lisette Denison Fourth Chapel. Born into slavery in 1786, Lisette ranks among America's heroes. The first person of color to own property in Detroit, she accumulated enough wealth to build the chapel on Gros Eel. Finally, while you bike East River Road, you'll want to keep tabs on the river traffic. For hundreds of years, ships have traveled the Detroit River carrying their cargo with the Gros Seal Lighthouse, located on the northeast shore of the island, aiding channel navigation. Well, here we are at Bishop's Cottage, one of my absolute favorite locations on Gros Eel. Not only can you stay here when you visit the island, but you can also enjoy outstanding local entertainment during the summer months in the garden, which is just a few steps from the river. So that's a quick tour of my hometown of Gros Eel, Michigan, home to more than 10,000 family and friends who believe that this small town is the perfect place to live, work, raise a family, recreate, or just relax. We hope you'll stop by, take a bike ride, stay a few nights, and enjoy the gorgeous water wonderland atmosphere, historic homes and churches, and its charming neighborhoods. One thing is for certain, Gros Seal will become a better place if you come and visit.